Look at that display though, Skyline. That's a beautiful trajectory. Look at the way the whole island is going to be split in half. Anywhere you want to go is pretty much possible. Almost anywhere you want to go. And uh, well, that's nowhere near uh, handy, of course, for a lot of them. They're going to have to make their way in here. We are gonna we might see a lot of action happening uh, towards the, the eastern side of the circle. But uh, more than that, we might see a bit oh. of an early fight happening here. It's going to be Liquid coming in with the knockout there. Who was that? Was it? Oh, yes, it was. And uh, don't shoot me. Well, I don't... I don't I don't think uh, <laughs> it didn't work. Your em emote works, man. And actually, there speaking of that mole man from way, way away somewhere. Oh my gosh, he's all alone, but he was still able Ow. to take out Odin Thor right out of a vehicle. Ooh. And VZ as well. No way. Oh, oh my gosh. Blank. gosh. Those shots were just absolutely unbelievable, but I don't really mind. Look where he's going. Looks like he's pretty interested in these buildings, but not so interested anymore. Liquids. Let's see if he can get the shot. Liquids the player, not Liquid the team. So uh, liquid, the, liquids the liquid the team. They got some nice shots earlier, but now liquids himself looks like he's getting some as well. Some nice loot for them. But here comes Larson from King with actually with some good shots there. It's got to be uh, his uh, enemy Zyphon that gets knocked out in the meantime. There, liquids is going to be trying to make a move for it. That nade does a bit of a damage, a bit more, I might say, one quarter of his life uh... left, and now he's prone. And this is a good hill to be prone by. He is behind cover, but will he be behind cover and for long enough? Nope. One of his other teammates spot him from a different perspective. Liquid's now with a sliver of hope, the sliver of life. And looking at the next circle, though, let's uh, zoom out a little bit there. Oh my gosh, it's even sorry. it's even crazier. It's, I'm sorry, what, what, what is life, man? All right. <laughs> what is this? All right, let's Woo. take a look at this a little bit closer. So this is probably the least amount of, yeah, this is as little land as you can it's possibly have. not a lot have. of ground. Anyway, talking about connections here. There are some shots connecting into Ooh. enemy. And yes, indeed, he's going to be knocked out by Jemty. Good shots coming in from them. And Zara is going to be actually in the open there. Finally retreats himself as his teammate falls. And Mixie and the rest of G-Core now have a very good spot to work with here. Uh, no damage taken yet, although the Jeep is maybe getting down. Okay, so they're forced out. They understand that they're in way too much way too much danger there. Aoi, and he's trying to make his way through as well. But he's oh. driving straight by this squad. Right now, it's just a mad dash. All these players oh, trying to make it in as quickly as possible because of how rough this circle is. There's just no space. Absolutely. You can see so many teams currently on the outside. They're oh. trying to make their way in there. And then here comes Team Method, actually with a bit of a cheeky flank, but oh, okay then, something will kill Frost and James. And actually, it's going to be Frost that's knocked out, but uh, now we, we do see uh, Simzy indeed on the top side. Yeah, I think he's is alone. He just, is he just yeah, him? Yes. He's just him. But, oh, but they're not they're not doing him. that bad, but oh, look at this one. Flight quest, oh. right, indeed, going to be gatekeeping. No, it's actually going to be a scoom. Knocking aim down and whoo, that's not a handy frag, but FlyQuest in between a rock and a hairpiece out of the pan and into the freaking fire. Halifax is going to be falling down himself. FlyQuest not doing too bad, but still breaking this game, still alive. But let's not talk about the circle. Let's talk about Liquid in the meantime here. We do see them going at it. They're firing off shots at their enemies. They're pretty, pretty close to them, but they're going to be side flanked themselves as well. And it's going to be Adi, the first one to get knocked out. Hayes and Moment. Responding with some good rifle shots of their own, but they cannot find the knockouts. Yo, uh -oh. not still. Nothing happening. Hector are going absolutely ham, and he still has life in him. Still can do a bit more there. Hayes hanging by a thread as well. He's going to have to heal as fast as he can. And Hetro, well, he's not going to be moving in, but his teammate might just. No, they're moving out. Ooh. Oh, but behind them. Liquid gets a good second chance at life, but Team Method are coming in from the back angle there. This is not easy for him, man. But they need to be careful. Icy can't peek out too much on that right-hand side. Aerojack Turtle over the top gets one, but that's all he's going to get. Icy, meanwhile, from the side, will finish him off. Just like that, there's, there's still one player left, though, for uh, for FlyQuest. Not sure where he ran off to. And this map is way too hectic to remotely try to find him, but still, good play by Method there. Absolutely, and actually, they're going to be the saviors of oh, Team look, Liquid, oh, but Team Liquid oh, no. doesn't seem to appreciate them as oh, saviors. That's a player. Out, spot a player inside the car. Some shots whip, so there's time for his enemy to get out of the oh. car and knock them out. AT getting the frag, but now getting himself knocked out by the play zone. g -Core are in a bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, but Metterbao, look at this position by him. He has the perfect position to see everything. Paradox, the head pokes over just a little bit. Metterbao doesn't miss a single beat on that. Grenade goes in. Is that going to oh. hit? Oh, whoa, what? that looks really close. And having a look again at this circle, it still contains freaking water, dude. dude <laughs> what is this how game? Does it keep going on the edge? It's literally on Whoa, the edge every the time. Hell? Deals with this one. Oh, look at this one. Shift oh. so close to blue. 
And that's going to be an instant kill. Indeed, it's going to be FlyQuest out of the game. 25 still left alive. Plus face in the meantime will knock out Mixi from G Corp, but G Corp replies good. Plus face goes down himself. Axeti as well with a frag against King with Ibiza. And uh, T87 kills Traces as well. The circle, not a lot of time left. 30 seconds here, and G-Core are currently taking damage. Haxeti, I'm not too sure who's actually firing at them, but they need to move out as soon as they can. Mixi as well with 1 HP. And <laughs> look at the amount of people in the water. I'm getting PTSD flashbacks from Gamescom. Yeah. Theater of Mayhem in the water. Pan oh, down in the water there. Liquid in the water as well. But here comes the frags as they try to go on land. Nice shot landed by Gemti. But Mixi, his teammate, has been down himself. So Gemti's going to be looking for a, a bit of a a bit of a cover on above them. This is a good angle that he's watching, but he doesn't know that behind him there's two players as well. So those two players might become a nuisance pretty soon as his teammates do res up. Oh, but a knockout comes in. Haxeti will be taken out. They as well outside the play zone as Jansen has big ADT uh, as well. A lot of players dying on the outside of the circle and this next circle coming in here. Well, it's going to be quite a shit show because there's 10 people left alive with the exception of Meteor. He's got no chance. Yeah, he's in. Scoom He's in the circle right now. What? Yeah, this is in. Mm, not sure that he would. No, 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 he's not. Oh. He has to go past g -Core. But he might just get a lucky, lucky hold here. g -Core have been gatekeeping everyone in the water. So this oh. time, they're going to be the ones that are going to be knocked out themselves. But Skoom also has to be careful just above him. There are enemies. And those enemies are going to be coming. No, actually, they die. Shiv now against Skoom. 1v1 situation. UMP and not a lot of HP against the fully uh, meted up. Fully boosted up Shiv with the mini oh, 14. Oh, Shiv has it. And one that has the circle as well. So Skoom is going to have to be the one that moves it. Okay. Shiv actually has a rock to work with here. Oh, so, this is not going to be easy for Skoom, man. This mm -hmm. 1v1 is... Oh, my butt. I want to tell you. I'm, I'm ready to crap out some diamonds, dude. This, this... Okay, so now they know exactly where they are. Oh, that could have been it right there. But no. The headshot will miss onto Skoom. So Shiv is not in the circle either right now. Uh, he's, he's closer for sure. But the circle does not have this rock in it. We can see Skoom rotating around right now. Uh, Skoom is definitely at a disadvantage here. But both Absolutely. of these players need to go out in the open to finally finish off this game. This is a frag over. This could be big. He needs to land this. <gasps> it's coming in. Oh, it's, it's coming in, but it's a bit in the front. But the next one's actually in the backside there. It's going to be Shift that actually will take a bit of a damage from that one. No, he doesn't, surprisingly so. Just barely avoids Ooh. falling down from those nades. But the circle coming in here. Five seconds left. Shiv versus Skoom. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, oh that one hit. He does a bit of a damage. But Skoom is still alive. He's moving into the next circle there. Just allowing himself to use that bit of a momentum, that bit of a distraction by those nades. So that means that now Shiv has the down hand there. Liquid Skoom makes himself small, proning down. So Shiv takes a bit oh of a damage. There's some shots got coming it. in. And Skoom comes oh, out on top. Amazing. Liquid are the winners of the first match by some sort of miracle. We're going to be starting with game number two, having a look at the map right here as the plane will go in. Let's see where it does choose to uh, choose to come. Oh, another nice plane cutting the island in half, it seems. Yeah. So, this is not a good sign, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. We have a nice plane, which means we'll have a really uh, weird circle, right? Oh, he's going to have a hard time defending himself. Oh, from all he those both. people, But he does get oh, one. No, actually, no. he's not going to be doing anything here. Chris Pierce is going to be able to put him down. No, there you go. Sauna Boys will be taking some shots at FlyQuest. It doesn't look like FlyQuest are too bothered about this. Oh, they will whoa, be hitting towards whoa. the jumping okay. house. They don't really need to they don't really need the jumping house to pull up some stunts. <laughs> Moleman goes in for the knockout there. There's many more players left though. The corn shuckers don't have it easy at this moment in time. Zappa has been knocked out. Raincore Horio is actually low himself, so now he's gonna be knocked out by a nade by Skoom. He's moving in with his teammates here. This is gonna be a claw attack. People coming in from different perspectives here, and they might just catch the corn truckers off guard, but there is one current flank to the left of Moman. That might be the winning element. Mm, let's What's look at here? this. Envy, way from the back. He needs to make this count right now because Paradox is in big trouble. But no, he gave away his position already. So Hayes knows where this player is. Awesome battle we're seeing here. Lots of rotations on either side. First, Envy flanked around. They saw oh, him. Now this. Hayes is flanking around. And look at this, as soon as Envy peeks out and has Molen in his sights, well then uh, actually it's going to be the, the other two boys, Skoom and Hayes from behind that are able to take Envy down and they're already taking shots at him. But they're actually close. Is that team method just behind them? Oh, we'll have to check. I, I think Skoom not nope, quite finishing not off the kill on Envy. 
I don't know if he can see him properly. Oh no, the grenade doing Ooh. a decent amount of damage to Skoom. This is a real scramble for Liquid. And yeah, if we take just the quickest look at the map. No, yeah, they're, they're mostly uh, alone for now. They don't need to deal with other teams. Paradox yeah. going for yet another rotation around. These players are just going back and forth. Finding pokes and prods. Look at this. Mold Man, he had no clue. Paradox Ooh. getting a great angle. But now he needs the 1v1 Skoom on the left-hand side. It's not going to happen, though. As he drops oh, so, so HP. low. Oh, my gosh. What, a, what an interesting play of events. It didn't look like Liquid had the absolute and utter up, uh, upper hand in this scenario, but with Paradox side flying, side hold rather, it does look like Envy had a time to go into a bit of a safe moment. Now he's got to be using a free state, but now he's all that remains from the Corn Shuckers. Two members still alive from Liquid, so Envy needs to be very, very careful how he approached this. He's moving in on him, and it's mm. not going to be uh, uh, Envy's uh, well, easiest moment as two players are currently gearing up to head towards him, Moleman uh, will be rest. Actually, Envy has a bit of a breather, so if he wants to make his way out of here, this would be the perfect time to do so, but he doesn't look to be moving anywhere. Yeah, oh, it looks like he he's going to finally take it, but Skoom... That's a smart choice, man. He, he try, Skoom can't quite find the angle over the hilltop, no. and so just like that, Envy, he might be able oh. to get away. Will be taking him, uh, actually some damage himself. Team Alliance are in a bit of a pickle here. Energetic Turtle pushing into aggressive. I'm not too sure if this will be rewarded with any kills, but oh. no, actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, Wild Rocket will be finding another good place, but they're running into Penta. Oh, and Hypok is actually the first to get out, so he will hear his enemies close to him. They've got no idea that they're oh, so close, oh. but <laughs> oh, no. from the side, <laughs> Teams comes in with the beep. Beep, I'm a freaking Jeep. However, Gunner is close to him, so he's gonna have to be careful here. His Jeems, he doesn't really miss a lot of his shots. Oh. This time is no chance for him to miss as well as he does connect beautifully with Gunner, but they're still in a bit of a pickle here. Where's the rest of Rocket? Uh, yeah, that? the real stun. flush, don't they're really me. spread out. They have I'm Aussie, I don't, uh, don't shoot me, Seela Green. They're in this line that's just sort of like haphazardly spread across the map. They're gonna have to eventually find Ooh. their way back together. Ooh. Zyphon though, he has bigger problems as he tried to make his way through on the motorcycle, but it's just not gonna happen. Meanwhile, over here, Liquids and and, uh, and Spaj, they, they both got out. But if they found CeeLo oh. Green, CeeLo Green couldn't quite get away. Very close though, he almost got behind that rock. 30 seconds left. The, the seconds tick away fast, guys, when you're in these fights. And you know what's the bad, the downside of this? Oh, APR comes in with the double knockout with oh the frag. God. And then the third one as well. He's raining justice from below. And he's finding the frags one after another. Scoom now in a bit of a difficult position. He's the last one staying alive by Liquid. So NPR is going to be able to hear him shoot. Scoom fires off in any directions. But the boys from TSM, they're moving in like wolves. They're not going to be letting go. Scoom has a bit of life left in him, though. Halifax is going to be knocked out. And he's going to be bleeding out that much faster. Look at the HP on him as he is currently in a bad spot. NPR missing on his nade, but that is the end of it. That is the end of Liquid getting out of the map. TSM, what a beautiful, beautiful way to stick together with your boys. Uh, it looks like the fours are going to have to make their way in between a rock and a hard place. Uh, on one side, they're going to have G-Core. On the other side, they will have uh, FlyQuest, I do believe. But uh -oh. TSM, oh, uh -oh. aim again. Uh -oh. Aim is going to be in a difficult position. I don't think he's going to get out like he does. <laughs> what is oh this? My there is beyond him and he makes it out of there. Kinguin cannot take this guy down. He's unstoppable. Nope. Uh, somewhere else on the map, though, we do see Pointy Rider coming in with his boys are fantastic holding an aid so i do think that they know that avian and owen are very very close to them but they're being shot themselves by penta who were on the blues and they're wow. still on the blues and they're taking shots pretty far away man and they're finding them handy enough yeah. so many members right now downed and they're about to run into uh both extras and fantastic Absolutely. Theater of Mayhem are going to be there to gatekeep. Can they come out of this one and nicely? Nope, it doesn't look like it. It's just going to be two from uh, Team King. Oh, and look at this one. TSM still alive. And we are holding on with his teammate. Break. Press F to pay respects as the vehicle explodes. And AIM is going to be taken out of the game. It's just going to be Break using a first aid kit. But he's so close to enemies. We can smell him just on top of the hill here. Can they, can they keep themselves into this one? It doesn't look like it. Ultra's going to be going down. Frost is still in it, though. Process this a, a last chance at life, but that M249. Oh. oh, and look at this one, Frost is still alive. The M249 is... didn't uh, hit his shot. But look at this. But well, who's this? Ibiza from behind. What? Ooh, the last vestiges what? of Penguin do get taken out. Aoi, and he has a good, he has a really good gun for the job. Gotta say that M249. From one another, but Blue already has a bit of a good angle to work with here from the left side of Spike. Oh. He might come in hard, but that nade connects wow. beautifully. And that's going to be it for Team Dignitas as FlyQ come out on top. But this circle is so damaging that Blue cannot stay in there in the blue for too long.
this hill has really got to resolve right now. Froz and Break, they're the two solo players. Looks like they're going to be going head to head here. But I don't know if Break understands that there's a player here. Oh, he certainly does. Gun oh, out. Can he land the shot here on the player? Oh, one hits. But he needs another. Froz down to the blue. So Break is That's still it. He in died. It. We have Jempty on the right hand side. Break up in the north. They're both solo players. Ewin is now a solo player as well. And they're all up against this three-man squad. Shiv being the first player to make his way into the circle with the UAZ. Just hope that he can stay alive for as long as possible. Break, though. I love his position. However, it's got to be Ewan finding a handy frank for himself, but he's alone now, and he's got to be taken down from under that bit of a uh, wood. Oh, it's breakdown to a 1v2. Oh, it is. Oh can he come gosh. out on top? Oh. Let's take a look what Break sees right now. It's really hard because of that terrain. Where's that grenade going to be? Is it too close? It looks like it might be too close. He needs to pop out of cover. And oh, oh. the grenades. They're just too strong. What? This being knocked out of, uh, or Break rather being knocked out of that rock by some nice grenade placement by Shadow. I'm ready for game three. I know Boogie. I know you are. I hope you guys are as well. So let's hop into the game. Where they, they're they're kind of known for going towards uh, Novo. Let's see uh, if Kingrin actually beats him to the punch this time. Yeah, it looks like Mixie versus punch. Fuzzface. There, I don't even know where. The, is there a vehicle that's supposed to be around here? Or yeah, something? there is. There's random spawns on the southern island on this road here. Not a lot of them, and not very often. But yeah, you should be able to get just before you get to Nova. You, they should be able to get something. Oh, oh, oh! They eye each other out, man. <laughs> they measure themselves a little bit there. Oh, but they're not gonna go for it. This is not matchmaking. Now, have a look at Rasha. We do see Liquids and his own team close by. Actually, he only has one teammate. His other one is actually quite far away, so Sigzy knocks out Zyphon. And, uh, well, that's going to be the end of Zyphon right now. There's absolutely no chance for a res. Shotgun coming in face. This is, uh, this is very interesting now. Very rarely do you see teams go for this. But actually, it looks like Sun Touch. He did fight. Whoa, he found two! Roms and VZ. Looks like they, uh, that's a strange area for them to both be. But here we go, Odin, Thor, and Sigzy. They need to save their friend. They're going to peek out. Sun Touch, he's down. Where's his teammate, however? Looks like Sigzy taking a tremendous amount of damage. Liquid is going to peek over with the UMP. That's a very low player. Finishing off the kill here. Now, this is a one versus one between Lix Liquids and Odin, Thor. Uh-oh. Let's go back to Rajok, though, for a second, as we might have <laughs> a resolution. Odin, Thor, oh my gosh. He's just got, you know that feeling. You know that. You know, you know what he's feeling. Oh, yeah. And it boggles the mind why neither of these two single players from Team Alliance, uh, nor from... Hang on a second while we watch. Where is Odin? Actually, oh, whoa, he was, he's up there. Oh, that was a spectator thing. <sighs> he was like... Corn Sharkers are coming out on top. He was like in the middle there, but uh, yeah. So it doesn't look like uh, Penta uh -oh. have fired anything towards them just yet, but... Ooh, not a oh, good moment no. to be in here, Raptor. He tries to go in for the actual kill. He's going to come out on top. Wow. No, he won't. Mossy just barely stays out alive in that duel. Mossy whiffing a bit there. Raptor, he had a good idea. He didn't really have a chance to run away, but now he's going to be knocked out. It's just going to be Crispy and AZ staying alive for their squad. Here to the scene, but now they're realizing that there are no spaces. All the compounds have already been taken before the circle even updated. So where are they going to go? Up here on the hill? Hey, yeah, this looks good, but there's already a team here. Yep, and it's not going to be an easy entrance in there. Skoom is going to try and make his way out of there, and he does with one HP. Oh, just no barely way. so. The Sauna boys oh couldn't have a chance at him. Oh, but no. there's going to be the rest of Liquid moving in there. Skoom actually finally is caught red-handed by Jorski. No, oh, this is not an easy time for Liquid. But they are indeed moving in quite close. One uh, staying close to the other there, and it looks like they're going to be stopping uh, themselves into a good position, but the Sauna Boys actually have the upper hand on another squad here. Pony Rider and his own team are caught red-handed by the Sauna Boys. Sauna Boys are looking for frags, man. They're thirsty this game, and they got an Ooh. AWM to work with, and that AWM does come in handy by Bikini Model. I don't really mind as well, but it was a scar up performance. Another whiff shot by Bikini, but that's not a problem at all. He does reload. He does want to go for more. Now, is there more just a Vanker left alive that AWM Wrecking House putting one squad down and still Sada Boys are in a bit of a danger. Liquid still close to them. And it's not a bad strat, but they also have to consider exactly this. That when they do run in into the circle, they're going to be meeting up with teams, and that's what they do right now. It's going to be Halifax actually connecting with his enemies. This game needs to be careful though. Ooh, good shots coming in against Halifax, and he's going to be knocked out and taken down himself. The stand in for TSM is not doing too good. He's going to oh, be brought down to nothing no. in that nade. That was Absolute a bad grenade for them, I've got to say. house. 
well, Sauna boys are looking for kills. And I'm not too sure why they're so hungry. But right now, it's going to be Flyku up against an enemy squad here. Ooh, and that enemy squad is taking a bit of a damage here. Paradox, great corn hunter. Corn shuckers now in a difficult spot as Flyku is, are pinning them down. Flyku not uh, quenched after taking down TSM. Well, they need to be careful now. Uh, so this is, of course, pushing out of the circle, but they need to clear behind them. Zampa and Paradox both going up together. Can they see anyone? Yes, he does. Gunner pops over the ledge, gets a gets a bullet in the face by the looks of it, or maybe the shoulder, but he's still up. Zampa now. Oh, he takes some damage. Really nice shots oh. by Hypic, supporting, but there's only 45 seconds oh, those left. Those nades. Those nades are going to be coming in exactly where Zampa got oh, down. Oh, no. One more is all takes. Oh, there's the down. He'll come up on Shiv, though. Does Shiv see him? Does he hear him? He's got to hear him at this point. There we go. The crouch down. That's a pistol? No. No, no, no. That was something else. It looked like a pistol, but that was the AK-47. Yeah, only 30 seconds left. These teams don't have a ton of time. Meanwhile, on the south, things what? have not cooled down at all. Penta going up on this oh. solo player. He has no chance. Ooh. Grenade goes in. He what? comes out. And he what? takes out Ultra. It's not too bad for himself indeed, but now he's going to be taken down. So Ultra will have another chance at life, but 17 seconds left. He's going to have to be rest super fast, and then you're going to have to move into a very, very dangerous open territory. Camp Gorilla Core, they need to make their way into the circle now. Let's focus on the southwest right now, because there are a lot of fights happening all over the place now. Penta, they're going up on Ardier and Drakius, but there we go. Really nicely done by Simsy. He didn't even need the help of his friend. That is just Frost left into the game right now, and it looks like he's already taken damage on himself. Frost falls by the hands of Meter. Coming up nicely for his team, but Ollie from Liquid on the outside of the blue there doesn't get a chance to heal himself. Oh, Jempty is actually so close to him, but just one shot is all it takes to put Ollie down, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Still, his teammates alive. I'm not too sure how many are alive. No, it's just going to be Moleman and, uh, and yeah, another and person. Hayes. Who is that? Hayes. Oh, but Hayes, Hayes is down indeed. as well, but, but behind oh, him. That's wow. it. That's it. That's the end of the liquid. 13 seconds left. They're going to have to make some sort of a move here. But Ibiza goes on top there. A nade flying in towards the Sauna Boys. Forcing them to go a bit outside. But they are connecting their shots. I don't really mind taking Larson down. They cannot spot each other out. Look at the positioning into this circle here. This ending. Uh, the way this divot goes. You cannot see your enemies because of the, the, the tree leaves. But it looks like I don't really mind. Has been spotted. And that's a good start for Gorilla Core. Yeah, Mixie's taking out that player. But he needs to be careful. And so... Looks like he might even be able to see him. No, Enso, he's going to back off. So they've cut this three-man squad down to maybe two. Depends on if Enso can cross and save his teammate. It's so, so dangerous. Who's even shooting right now? It's going to be Mixie. Oh, he's trying to blow up the vehicle. That's what he's doing. If he can do that, I don't really mind. Might be too close. But that tree. Oh my, he's shooting the tree. <laughs> oh, my Ooh. gosh. And as a result, it looks like he took too long. Enso, Enso, able to knock that out. So it's still, a, it's just a two versus two. And I don't yes, really indeed. mind. He's going to get up. That is true. That's going to put uh, Sana Boys at such a better advantage. At such a such a, such a good advantage, rather. Jorski now, though, has taken a bit of a damage. Though, has time to use a first aid kit. I don't really mind. He's going to have to use that one as well fast. Because there's currently 12 seconds left until the circle draws in closer. And right now, Gorilla Core seem to be in the next one. So they have a bit of an upper hand. They have a bit of an advantage, as in they don't have to move anywhere. It's going to be Sana Boys that have to make a bit of a move. And they're so close to the circle. But as soon as they peek out, you can be sure that Gorilla Core are going to be coming up against him, but and Salenso does get himself a nice handy frag against Mixie. Five alive now. Oh, nicely done. Mixie was finished off earlier, but I don't really mind. He's definitely out now. Metabot finishing that off just maybe for the for the points there. And then and Salenso and Jorski in the meantime using that situation to actually push up. Metabot still doesn't know where this second player is, by the way. Jorski's pushing up. We can see him on the X-ray on the side, but Metabot isn't 100% oh. sure of what happened. And Salenso is going to go down. It's just down to Jorski. Yes, indeed. And now Jorski peeks in left and right. He knows exactly where his enemies are. And he does have a bit of the next circle so he can stay where he is for a bit longer here. Oh, now my he God. Actually chooses to peek out. And it's going to be a 1v1 deal with Jorski versus Jemty. That is all that remains in this battle here. Both of the teams having one knocked enemy and one standing one at that. Jorski is going to be trying to heal up as fast as he can. But he only has bandages to work with here. So Jemty tries to make him move for it. Spots, uh... Is that to be? Oh, actually, he spots Enzo tries to take him down, but he knows exactly where Jorki is. He's baiting the shots from Jorski now with a red dot M16 in hand. We'll go for Neither the kill as soon as he has a chance for it. Yeah, Neither that's of these it. players are in. So they need to both leave their trees. Oh, go. And there's no in. cover. 1v1 duel. There's no cover. Here we go. What, what are we going to do? Jorski, he's not quite out of the tree yet. The circle's going to move in. 
Oh my gosh, Jemti taking Whoa. taking a clip. That's big. Jorski gonna use the situation to now move up. Using the chance. He knows that Jemti's healing. Oh. One shot, two shot. Jemti's gonna get the heal off, but still, here's the peak. It all comes down to this. Oh, and there we wow. go. Jorski finishes off the game for the Sauna Boys. First place for them, and I've gotta say, it was well deserved. 14 kills.